These are extraordinary times for the British government in India. Ever since the Indian National Congress Party was formed it has turned India into chaos. The Indian public is completely irresponsible, and they've taken to protest at every government decision. The British government has introduced the Indian Telegraphs Act. It was responded with protests. Even the Minto Morley reforms were protested. For the administrative convenience and for the benefit of the people Bengal province was partitioned. Movements after movements were taken out in response by the illiterate public who were brainwashed by the selfish political leaders of the country. Even the Prevention of Seditious Meetings Act which was passed in this Imperial Legislative Council was of no use. I think it's time for this Imperial Legislative Council to impose a stricter law. Conspiracies are drawn against the government from all corners in this country today. The actions of the Indian revolutionaries see no limit in trying to bring the British government down. With this background, the Imperial Council introduces the Anarchical and Revolutionary Crimes Act. To make you clear about this bill, I would like to give you details further about it. The British government gives extraordinary powers to the police in India to arrest anyone they see as threat to the government, and put them in prison for two years. Let me make it clear for everyone. The arrested persons will neither have a trial by the court nor there can be judicial review on these cases. There will be no way that the government tolerates these Indian threats or revolutionaries in any manner. Once arrested, these Indians will not even be told the reason, for their arrest. Through this act, the British government proposes to extend, the emergency provisions for an indefinite time period. Mr. Gandhi, you have shown your dissatisfaction against the law that is put in the Legislative Council. What is the main reason for your dissatisfaction? This bill which was introduced by Sidney Rowlatt, let's call this Rowlatt Act. It is unacceptable. Now, police in the name of the constitutional duty can arrest anyone they please. They can arrest a political leader who shows his dissatisfaction against the government. They can arrest a lawyer who is on his way to his work. They can even arrest a vegetable seller for no reason. They can arrest anyone and everyone in India. This is completely imperialistic and undemocratic of the least. We will not let this bill come into public domain. We are starting a satyagraha against this bill and we will protest until this bill is taken down. Rolat Satyagraha. I request all my fellow Indians to join me in this Satyagraha until the cause for this is met. Yangrizi Sarkar, na hume chance jine degi, na chance marne degi. Ye Rawlat Kanun jo inhone assembly mein pass kiya. उससे कल किसी को भी यूं ही उठा के ले जाएंगे और जेल में डाल देंगे ना जज के पास ले जाएगा ना ही कारण बताएंगे ये इनकी साजिश है हम सबको खत्म करने का आए तो थे व्यापार करने फिर हमारे राज हमसे छीन लिए हमारी जमीन छीन लिए हमारी फसल छीन लिए अब तो सुकून से जीने का हक भी छीन लिए और कितना बर्दाश्त करेंगे हम इस अंग्रेजी कानून से लड़ना ही पड़ेगा अब नहीं लड़ेंगे तो कब लड़ेंगे Fire. 